Welcome back and thank you so much for sticking with us here on Real America. Well, woke executives here in the U.S. are facing more and more backlash every day for their left wing activism, which is what they're doing. They're not doing what they're supposed to do as a CEO, as a leader of a major brand or corporation. They're too worried about virtue signaling. Case in point, you might be wearing some of these right now. Let's talk about the Levi Strauss company where their CEO and their corporate wokeness is reaching all new heights. Leading investors with the Free Enterprise Project are now denouncing Levi Strauss's CEO, Chip Berg, for his partisan toxicity within the company. This, as the National Center for Public Policy Research claims that the CEO frequently discriminates against race and gender when hiring employees. They say the company's hiring process, more often than not, discriminates against hiring anybody white Go figure. Levi's, instead of choosing to hire employees of color all the time, females and transgenders and everything else, which again, I'm not saying you shouldn't hire those folks. I'm just saying if you make it your job to hire just them and not white, straight folk, aren't you then being, in essence, racist and sexist? Yeah, it goes both ways. And you're also violating your fiduciary duty to the shareholders, the stockholders, the people that bought into Levi to make money because you're driving the stock down with all this woke crap, which means you should be removed. Why are you even the CEO anymore? The CEO Berg, he's known for being a critic of a lot of things. He's also been very outspoken about all kinds of things, like Georgia's election integrity law, which now ensures free and fair elections. But as soon as the Georgia legislators voted that through, what did Berg come out and say? He said that it was racist. It's a racist law. Back in April of 2021, during a virtual shareholders meeting, Berg was asked why he believes that. Here's what he had to say. Right now, there are more than 350 bills moving in 47 states that are designed to restrict voting access. These bills are racist and undemocratic. And by the way, I've never said anything about voter ID. What a liar. Lying to your shareholders. The bills he's discussing don't restrict people from voting and they're not racist. We've had the, the legislators that have created these bills in Texas and Georgia and elsewhere on this program. And we've shown you the text of the bills. He's using liberal talking points like they always do. Just like they're doing about the Florida don't say gay bill when it's not that. It's a parental rights bill. This is how they do it. And don't you dare speak up like one of Levi's brand presidents. Remember her, Jennifer Say, we told you about her a while back had to resign after backlash from Berg and, and liberal folks within the company. Why? Because she spoke out publicly about COVID school closures. She believed it wasn't good for kids. She started working for Levi back in 1999 as just a marketing manager, worked her all the way up. I mean, you want to talk about getting rid of a woman who busted her hump. She became a global brand president and then was kicked to the curb by Berg and the rest of the liberals running Levi's because she dare say something about the COVID lockdowns hurting her kids and other kids. Oh, no. My next guest, director of the Free Enterprise Project, Scott Shepard, released a statement on all the chaos that's been going on behind the scenes at Levi's. He says, Levi Strauss is a deeply corrupt, discriminatory organization. It actively discriminates in hiring against men, white people, and straight people, and even brags about it on their website. It maintains a highly politicized, hard left speech code at its offices, even to extent of forcing out its greatest rising talent. Jennifer Say would have been perfectly suited to replace Chip Berg, <laughs> the bigoted current CEO, and bring some sanity back to the company. Now that she's been driven out, the only way to save the company is to drive Berg and his team out as well. Let's welcome Scott Shepard back to the program. You know, um, I'm not really big on how they fit, but maybe it's time to bust out the Wranglers and burn the Levi's. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's 2022. We can find other jeans to wear. Or, yeah. you know, no uh, I'm a kid of the 90s, so I'd like to go back to chinos myself. You're but, going with the chinos. We, okay. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the you gap, the gap khakis one? and gap yeah. jeans, those, those aren't too bad sometimes. <laughs> Scott, but seriously here, th this guy is, I mean, not even a left-wing activist. This guy is a radical. I'm listening to that soundbite there where he's talking about these bills being absolutely racist and stopping people from voting he's telling bold-faced lies to virtue signal to his woke employees right what else would he be doing this for because it's not making well, the company any money it's it's both virtue signaling and it's uh responding to the fact that chip berg is really a left winger who wants Whoa. left wingers to be able to control his country yeah and he doesn't care how they do it so he's happy to um 
election integrity laws, which were designed only to to make sure that everybody gets a vote, but only a vote. Mm -hmm. um, uh, th th those those basic considerations. He called that racist. We asked him last year specifically what provisions are racist. We mentioned the IDs. He said, well, no, I didn't mention IDs because you had to show an ID to vote at his shareholder meeting. So, of course, he couldn't say that. And he wouldn't say what specifically was so racist. No. Just, you dirty southern states trying to protect your elections, even though in Georgia after the bill, it was still easier to vote than in New York or Delaware. Oh, or I Alaska. know. <laughs> the new Texas you know, laws is easier to vote than in Delaware, where Joe Biden's from. They have stricter voting laws. But right. see, nobody brings that up, Scott, because they've got the narrative controlled by social media and by mainstream media, right? Right, Because you censor places like OAN where you and I are sitting here telling the truth about these scum and how they're pushing this radical left-wing agenda that is so anti-American, it makes me vomit in my mouth. Like, seriously, it's <laughs> to be grotesque. But that's, I mean, I, I see what they're doing to the fabric of this nation, how they're trying to change it. And I get so frustrated because then they just keep censoring us here at OAN and other conservative voices and acting like what they're saying is factual and the truth and good for America when it's none of the above. No, yeah, that's absolutely. I mean, just consider what the minions at the Bezos blog, formerly known as the Washington Post, it's a, democracy dies in darkness as long as we're the one hold, ones holding the shades, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Darkness that's right. is just fine as long as we're keeping all all of you, the majority of Americans, from expressing their 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 wishes and their thoughts. Now, Scott, you confronted Berg um, at this last meeting, right? And what yep. was the response? And where do we go from here? Well, we, we submitted a shareholder proposal, um, and so we had a couple of minutes to defend our proposal, and our proposal was, was fairly simple. If you, look at, um, if you look at Levi's website, they brag on that website that, they're, that women are already statistically overrepresented. They're still discriminating in favor of women. Uh, ethnic minorities, gays are already overrepresented. They're still d discriminating in favor of them. They call it diversity, but when you're discriminating in favor of the overrepresented groups, that's just hate. That's just bigotry. That's I not... Know. No, they're, they're disguising all of their hate. The left, Scott, disguises all of their hate as social justice and equity. We've been saying this that's on right. this program since we started almost two years ago. We said, watch how they're going to do all this before it got as bad as it is today. I said, watch this. They're going to disguise it as equity and social justice, but that keyword equity, and that's what these woke CEOs are doing, and I hope they all get their asses fired. Scott Shepard, Director of Free Enterprise Project over at the National Center for Public Policy Research. Keep the pressure on this Berg guy over at um, Levi's, because I'd like to break out my Levi's for um, the CMA Fest when I go to Nashville. I'd like to get my country on. Where are my Levi's? Good, and not you. if this clown's in charge. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Take care. Bye.